Look at that, Clank. This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suites, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, you've obviously had an exhausting trip. Uh, why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. To view the world map, press select or R3. Thank you. Well, there's the map. We got a lot of stuff. VR deck. We played vid comics. We've got a trophy room. Weapons vendor, armor vendor, bridge. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty swanky joint. I don't know why I said the word swanky, but hey, here's our here's our room. Pretty nice. These are your quarters. I set up the VG9000 to play vid comic discs. These are your beds. You will suffocate in them. think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're telling me this nutcase is our only hope for stopping Nefarious? <laughs> We're hosed. Press and hold triangle for your quick select menu. Nope. <laughs> so, the uh... Right. Oh, Meet me on the bridge. Can do. Um, so, there are a couple of things that you should know about this game. Not only are there weapons, there are also armor upgrades. This is our onboard Gadgetron armor vendor. We'll notify you whenever a new suit of armor is available for purchase. I am not doing this without new armor. I am buying armor. You should know that. Just, just so you're aware, I am Press buying armor. To interrupt the I love that one. That is my favourite. <laughs> yeah, I am interrupting messages. I am getting armor. I'm not suicidal. We're losing the signal. Try boosting the power. Isn't that the president? They came out of nowhere. Tyrannoid invasion force. The presidential compound has been breached. We cannot hold out much longer here. Mr. President. Dad, are you there? Dad. Robotic citizens of the Solana Galaxy. The hour of your liberation is at hand! Too long have we robots suffered under the bigotry, the stupidity, the squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms. Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron-fisted rule. As for you filthy organic life forms, you can look forward to being disintegrated! <laughs> That's all for now. Plot a course from Arcadia. Maximum speed. Prepare the dropship for planetary assault. We're going in. We'll see you on Arcadia. We are not doing Marcadia just yet. This actually might be a little bit of a boring episode. This is actually going to be getting a titanium bolt. Um, but it also will be to actually uh, upgrade our uh, health a little bit. Because... A new I, suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron armor vendor. I thought there was one now. Let's buy that. That would be extremely handy. 10,000. We have enough. Yeah, we should do, because we're not buying weapons, so... Yeah. But yes. Um, the VR deck, there are a lot... It's basically like an arena of sorts. Um, and that's what we're doing today. This is the Phoenix VR deck. So, I know it is a bit dull when you compare it to other levels, because it's not much. It's just an arena of 
not much happening. Uh, although it is a nice touch, but it's the uh, the Gadgetron uh, VR crew from uh, the Gadgetron headquarters. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit dull, I I'll admit. But it is a necessary evil because we're going to upgrade the uh, our health, uh, which is kind of good. And there is a titanium bolt, and since we're getting more, you know, you have to go here. So you have to live with it. But that's alright, there's not too many, it will fill up an episode, admittedly, but there's not too many things to do. And next episode is Marcadius, so that's always fun, got things to look forward to. Actually, the episode after next, um, after Marcadius should be really good if I'm not mistaken. If I'm remembering correctly, there should be a lot to look forward to. I do not know how much damage these things will do to me, um, I'm assuming it will differ depending on the weapon they're using. Um, but. Hopefully not too much. So it'll be interesting to know uh, what's what's everyone's favourite Ratchet games in the in the comments and why uh, specifically? Because not too damage, that's alright. Because um, yeah, I mean, I really like three and one more than two, um, and I feel like my reasons are a bit just odd, like. One especially is a, is another one, because I think a lot of people are just like, well, it is inferior. And they're right, it is inferior. Um, but it's just, it isn't as, I don't know, it just, it has its own charm about it, and I really like that charm. And it might be nostalgia, um, to a degree, but I do, I do really like it. Um, thank you for hitting me. Um, furthermore, do you know what, it's something about the, the remake, it's not a bad game by any means, it's a very, very good game. It's a solid 9. Um, but, it doesn't feel the same. And that's the thing. Like, you can plaster a HD copy over the original. And that's very, well it's not easy to do, but you know, it's, it's doable. But it's making it feel right, which is the hard part. And if it doesn't feel the same, then it's not touching what I want, you know? It's not giving me what I'm, what I'm buying it for. I want it to feel like the original, as well as do so many new things with it. And that's unfortunately what it lacks. It doesn't feel like the original game. It feels like... I don't know, it just, it, it's, it's just lacking. The, the original three have something that the others just don't have. Oh yeah, you need the shot blast for that, don't you? I don't know if you have to use the Shock Blaster. I hope not. We will see. I actually forgot about that. Yeah, there are, um... Oh boy. Uh, there are ways to glitch it out. I was told there are ways to glitch out Annihilation Nation so you can actually do uh, the weapon only missions with the wrench. Um, I do not recall how to do that, and I cannot remember which video it was stated in, which doesn't help me. Uh, but someone did say, so I have to look for that and see if I can find it. But I think I can do it without doing that mission. He says, not entirely sure. I'm praying that that is the case. Yeah, I didn't say we'd upgrade our nanotech by March. But we should definitely upgrade our nano attack, which is good. Anything for any upgrade is very important. Uh, I think the most it can go to in a first playthrough is a hundred. I think um, I might be wrong about that. So I doubt we'll get it to a hundred. Getting it to a hundred in one playthrough is actually ridiculously difficult. Uh, you need to do a lot of backtracking to make that happen. A lot of killing, literally everything. But. Yeah, I, it's it's unlikely, but we'll see 100. We'll probably see 70, maybe a little more, but 100 is not happening. It'll be interesting to see how difficult the final boss actually is, because the final boss of 2 wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. Like, it didn't take me an age or anything, it took me like 40 minutes. Uh, Drek in Ratchet 1 took me, like... 10 hours, but that was in multiple sessions. The attempt where I won took me 2 plus hours, um, so that's always good. 2 hours per 1 attempt. However, the, uh, 
the beautiful remake on the PS4, that final boss took like, I don't know, 4,000 hits, maybe more, and, and it took me six hours per attempt, and I didn't do it in one go, so that was always fun. So yeah, if you want to see someone get really angry at times, uh, well, that's, uh, that's how you do it. Actually, no, if you want to see me get, like, the most angry I've ever got, I think, I think the most probably would be Damozel's door. That broke me, because I could not do it. It, it. I lost, I failed, and then I found a way to do it in a different playthrough, but I failed the first time, and it really annoyed me. Yeah, I had to replay the entire game to actually get it to work. Because to open that door, you basically have to level up your nanotech twice, so that you kill, you damage enemies. Because um, there are these enemies that are out of, um, out of your range, and that's the only way to kill them. Um, so you have to do it in a very, very specific way. Uh, and to actually give yourself enough like experience to level up twice, you need to be ridiculously low leveled, so I couldn't have done it the way I was doing it. But it was uh, it was an interesting challenge, definitely. Um, I enjoyed the challenge aspect of it. I did not enjoy actually taking part in said challenge, but hey, you know, you, you do what you must. I'm intrigued as to what challenges will be in this game. I think there are going to be a couple of uh, arena challenges which will be challenging. Um, I can think of one planet. Um, I cannot remember its name. There's one planet in particular which I think will be really difficult. We will see if that's the case. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think that's going to be a challenge. There's a lot of enemies and they all do insane amounts of damage. So that's going to be fun. Final planet will be difficult. This is going to be a lot of challenges. It's going to be a lot of one hour recordings, like two hour recording sessions for one video. That's, that's what there's going to be a lot of. I look forward to it though, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be, di mm. can I do it without? No, I can't. Um, end challenge. Yes. Hmm. Well. That is a problem, isn't it? Hmm. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. Huh. Huh. I think after I complete that, I unlock this the final the one. I'm pretty sure. And I can't in a good conscience use that. Because that is cheating. So, that's depressing. Confirm to the... You can upgrade the your titanium bolts. No, it costs money. Okay, maybe you unlock them once you get more titanium bolts. I'll buy the purple one though. Purple one's quite cool. Yeah, we'll stick with that. But hey, we got the cool purple. Actually, no, I think you unlock more for skill points. Yeah, that seems about right. So I guess I may as well show you stuff like that. So there are cheats. Once you get more skill points, you unlock things. Um, don't have any of those right now. Oh, these are the titanium bolts. Okay, so you can get snowman costumes, tuxedo ratchet, uh, bugonoid, brainius, uh, robo rooster. I think these are all characters in the online mode. Um, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> and that is also a thing. Um, yeah, I think so. And this tells you how to get all the uh, skill points. Um, not specifically, like it tells you... It tells you what their name is, it doesn't tell you how to get them. Um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think they're all the characters online. I don't know if the online servers are still up. I would be up for a game, I guess, uh, at the end of the playthrough, if it is still up. Um, I'm unsure how it works, though. I haven't been on it in a long time. Hey, I could try wrench only, uh, and you guys could all use weapons, and we'll see if I, we'll see how quickly I lose. The answer will be very, uh, but that could, that could be fun. But, uh. I know this is a bit of a shorter episode, but hey, we uh, we did a lot here. We um, we completed the VR deck as much as we can. Um, I will see about 
being able to complete that without uh, the shot cannon. But I can't promise anything. But next time we're going to go to Marcadia. So I will see you then. Bye bye.